Hello there and welcome back to Bilbo and the Boys. Uh, we have got, rather excitingly, issue 32 of the Ghostbusters build, the Ecto-1. Now, I say I'm excited. In reality, I'm really nervous because um, if anything's going to go wrong, this is the stage that's going to go wrong. Because we are bolting the frame to the chassis and, um, yeah, that the, the likelihood of snapping one of the lights off the top or shearing a wire is pretty bloody high. That's not all we're doing in this one. We are also building the partition wall that goes in. We're installing the final ceiling panel. We then install the tubes, which can take the electrics up to the top of the roof equipment. And then finally, some uh, kicker plates for the uh, the door panels. Now, they do ask you to do something very strange in issue 31, um, which I don't entirely see the point of. So I'm going to build this slightly... Sorry, I say stage 31. Let me give the actual stage. Um... They asked to bring the car up, and then you put the car back down to later on bring the car back up. Now, because of the weight of this thing at this point, and the kind of space it's going to take up on your workbench, I'd advise you don't do this. So, in part 119, um, they ask you to install the speakers into the partition wall, and then sort of put the ceiling panel in, and then you put that back down, and then you build the rest of the partition wall, then you bring the car back up. Uh, if you've got the room to do that, great. If not, ignore putting the ceiling panel in at stage 119 um just build your part of the partition wall move to stage 120 finish the partition wall then put the ceiling panel in once you brought the car up then put the partition wall in just makes more sense so that's 119 and 120 121 is the big one that's where we're going to install all the we're going to connect all the electrics we're going to attach the chassis to the frame we're going to put the pipes on we're going to fit the wing mirrors um, we're going to flip the car on its side um, and the frame. So we're going to have both of them up here. How I'm going to film this, I don't know. Uh, connect all the electrics and then um, hopefully connect the car together without breaking anything. Now, I'm not nervous about breaking something because if I break it, I can repair it. It's the repair that I'm nervous about. If I break something beyond the point where I can repair it, it means I've got to rely on Eagle Moss to send me a replacement. Now, anybody that's had the joy of dealing with Eagle Moss for the past six months knows what i'm talking about now we should be well i say we i should be on stage uh 35 at this point so i'm three months behind um that's how long they've delayed the build for now i appreciate there are people out there going you're lucky to be at that point i get that completely we were supposed to be done with this in may i'm probably not going to finish this until july or august because um of the delays now i know some of you are even further back than that and my heart goes out to you for kind of standing and, and fighting the good fight, because I'll be honest with you, if I'd have been two or three stages in and Eagle Moss had been the way they've been, I'd have sacked this off a long time ago. I think Eagle Moss are accelerating this now so they can launch the Batmobile. Um, because I think they know full well that if people are in the middle of doing this or haven't finished this one yet, they won't start a Batmobile. So I think they want us to get done with this so they can halt the Batmobile. Kind of what they did with the DeLorean. Um, at the, the end of the DeLorean, they started sending out people the uh, the test parts for the um, for the Ecto with the DeLorean. I've got a feeling they're going to do that with the Batmobile. I've got a feeling that on our last few packs of the Ecto-1, we're going to start seeing Batmobile parts to try and lure you in. No thanks, Eagle Moss. Uh, my experience with you is is not been a great one. So once I finish this car, that's our business done. Um, anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. We're going to start by building the partition wall and put the panels in. Wish me luck, um, because I, I'm really nervous about this one. But, hey, let's see how we do. So here's everything we get in stage 119. We are getting uh, this partition wall here. We get the two speakers, which are going to go here and here. And we get the ceiling panel. Now, as I said, I'm not installing that in this stage. They're asking us to do that first. Uh, then put the speakers in this. I'm not doing that. I'm building this because there's another part to this. I'm building that first. Then I'm going to install this because the car's too bloody big to keep lugging up and down onto the desk. Um, so that's not happening. So we're going to build this. Gonna install these speakers. That's all I'm going to do in this stage. Then we're going to move on to stage 120. There we have it nice and simple. Um, we just screwed those on with two QM screws. Now the one thing that is key here is there is uh, an indentation on this side. So your speakers go this side, not this side. That's important. You do it the wrong way around, you're going to have problems closing your doors. So that is where they go. So they are marked. The speakers will have an R and an L on them. So you can determine exactly which side of the vehicle these will go. 
So that's it. That's it for this stage. I'm going to move on to the next stage. Here is everything that we receive in 120. Uh, we have the window for the partition wall. Um, we have these two base parts for the partition wall. Now, I believe it's 22 screws to put this together. I'm not going to bore you, make you watch you put every one of those screws in. So I'm going to put it together and show you what we've got and talk through it. Um, but the one thing I will say, a lot of people have been saying they don't remember there being a window in this. Um, so it's up to you. If you don't want to install this window, don't. I mean, if you want access into the back, just don't install the glass. It really is that simple because this doesn't slide. It doesn't wind down, nothing like that. So if you want this to remain open to the back, just don't put the glass in. I am putting the glass in, I'm building stock. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it's one of those things, once you've committed to where it's going, that's where it's going, because taking this back out again won't be easy. But I am putting the glass in, so um, we're going to crack on with that and show you each stage as it looks. Okay, so that's the first part of the lower partition complete. Now, this is where the seats will back onto. Um, and it was quite simple. There was just eight screws that go in there. Those are EP screws. Easy enough. It all lines up quite lovely. The next thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be installing the glass into the partition wall. So that is our partition wall complete. And I'm telling you, this thing already is, is a weight. It might all be plastic, but my God, it's actually got some weight to it. So that is built. Uh, now there are gaps in this. That's intentional because we're going to be channeling wires along here. Uh, that's the ceiling panel wires we're going to hide inside there when this is installed into the vehicle so this installs into the frame not the chassis the frame um something that's important to remember do not do this the wrong way around this section here goes behind the seats okay so when you install this into the frame the speakers go into the rear of the vehicle this at the front so this is behind the seats if you do it the wrong way around you have problems shutting your doors trust me your doors won't shut properly. This at the front, speakers to the back. So we've got to know. So we're going to bring up the frame. Uh, we're going to install the ceiling panel that we didn't install from the last part. And then we're going to install this part. The next thing we need to do is we have to remove this screw and this screw uh, to loosen this trim along here because we need to access this beam. So removing these two screws will give us enough wiggle room on this. So we can move this out and install the uh, partition wall in here to access the beam here to attach it. So our partition wall now installed. We replaced the VP screws back into place. Took the wire so it's hidden inside the uh, the groove of the wall. And then finally, what they wanted us to do was add one RP screw and just test fit this wheel arch. So we got a few issues back, and that fits just fine. Uh, now comes the hard part. Here is everything we get in stage 121. So we get the fairly iconic blue pipes that are going to travel on the side of Ecto. We got our wing mirrors. We got the pipe holders, a bunch of screws because this is the part we're going to put it together. Now, again, I am going to do this out of sequence because what it wants me to do is install these pipes. Um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, I am going to have to do this in sequence. So, what we're actually going to do first is we're going to prepare the chassis for uh, for installation. We have to unplug all the wires and get it ready. This is going to be rough. Well, that was bloody difficult, but. It's done. I'm sorry I couldn't film it all for you, but the reality of it is that took hours. Um, I had to get my son to help um, with this. Got the wing mirrors on. Got the spot on. All of these are working as they should be. Um, it's difficult, man. Um, but if we open this, the ceiling light comes on, as you can see. Close it, it goes out. And that works throughout the vehicle. So... I'm a happy bunny. Um, I'm not deliriously happy. It was, I mean, there have been some mistakes which I've got to put right, but nothing major. There's a couple of wires that will be tucked back into place, but other than that, that's where we are. Um, but that was, that was rough, man. That really was. This is the final stage of this pack. This is 122, and these are just kicker plates that go into the doorway. And that's it. That finishes out a very, very, very bloody difficult pack. That is it complete for the month. We have installed these kick plates uh, in here now. So we have these rather lovely trims that go in each of the door walls. And then over on the driver's side, we get the same thing. But these are really rather lovely. Just a nice little, little extra. So that's it. I mean, the car's together now. So literally all we're doing is we are doing the roof gear and the gurney. Now, I can tell you next month, it's just gurney. Um, so we won't be touching this for two months. 
and I'm I'm kind of thankful for that in a way, if I'm honest, because um that was that was a lot. It really was. Let's have a chat. So that's it. Uh, you can still see it here. Um, it's massive. It's really heavy as well. I mean, this thing I don't know. It's it's got to weigh a lot. It must weigh. It's got to weigh over two stone. It has to, which is is what twenty eight pounds, thirty pounds. It's got to weigh more than that. It has to because this thing is ridiculously heavy. Um, but it's built. It's together. So that's the hard one done. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and go, oh, mine went smoothly, because it didn't. It really didn't. Um, everything that could go wrong went wrong, pretty much. Um, we didn't put the wheel back on. So we clipped the frame in without putting the back wheel back on. Um, and then couldn't get the frame back out. So that was a treat. Um, a couple of the wires aren't where they should be. They've popped up through the interior, but that's not a problem. We're going to pack those back down. Loosen up what we've got to loosen up in the interior and, and poke those away and tidy them up. But I'm at that point now where I'm, I'm kind of at peace with, with it. So it's like I'm at peace where it is. Everything works. It looks good. I'm happy. That's it. So if there is a, a hint of wire somewhere, I don't care. I'll cover it over with some black um, insulation tape and you'll never see it, you know. I'm at that point where there's no way I'm taking it apart again. So if I can't get a wire back down into place, it's not bad. It's not there's loads or anything. There's just a couple where I can just see the wire. I'm thinking I want to poke that back in, but I don't want to sever the wire. Um, if I can't, I'll, I'll cover it with, with, like I said, black insulation tape. I just don't care. I'm, I'm at that point now where I'm I'm at peace with it. This is what it is, and I'm at peace with that. Um, the lights work. The interior lights work. The doors work. Uh, the sounds work. Everything works. The Everything's where it should be. There's no, you know, there's no nasties or anything. So I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Uh, but that was rough. That really was rough. Um, so good luck to anybody that hits this stage because it is it's brutal. Um, you definitely need a second pair of hands. Um, I had one of the kids help me and it was probably too much for one of the kids. You need another adult to help you with this because there's a stage where they ask you to lie both parts on the side and plug all the wires in. And then they say, no, just flip it over on top of itself. That's actually impossible. You can't do that it's there's there's no way you can do that without you'll see what i mean when you get to it it's it's you've put it all on the side so it's like right so you need two sets of hands to both move at the same time to move the bottom and the top in in kind of unison but then when you're doing that you've got to make sure there's something at the bottom to make sure you don't break any lights off fortunately i didn't snap any lights off now i'll tell you how i did this i didn't do this with a jig I, well i did but i it wasn't i didn't use a cushion or a pillow or anything like that um, I used um, uh, a book. I used a hardback book just to lift the uh, lift the body off and leave the lights hanging over the edge, um, and then we put a pad on that. You can get um, pillows for this, which I wish I had. Um, and speaking of which, there are other things you can get for this. Um, you might have spotted in my side mine the Honeywell. Um, I'm going to show you the Honeywell. Um, and it's a really quite a beautiful thing. Let me show you the Honeywell. Here is my Honeywell. That's where it goes in the movie. And this is quite a glaring omission on Eagle Moss's parts. And I haven't fixed mine in yet, so I can pull out and show you. So this is my Honeywell. You can see it comes with the tubes and the pipes. Um, but you don't get one with the Eagle Moss build. So you've just got this gap. Um, and that's no good. So I was able to get one of these from Parker upgrades.com i'm gonna tell you all about them now i've got my honeywell from parkwork upgrades.com uh, and um in collaboration with them they've given me a code which i can give to all of you um so it will give you 15 percent off which is huge that's really good um the honeywell was only 9.99 um with your 15 percent off that's a decent saving and it's also a gorgeous thing um and it's necessary for the model um but you can use this code here this one here and that will give you 15% off. Now, you can only use one code per order. Um, so don't try and stack because it will end up cancelling your um, cancelling your order. But load up whilst you're there. They've got some great Ghostbusters things. Because another thing they have, which is, again, a glare and emission from this. If you've made the Proton Packs, you will notice that there's no holder for the wands. The wands just loose. Part Recup Raids have got a solution for that. And again, it is a really good price. Uh, there's a lot of mod companies out there, and understandably, some of the mod prices are really high because they're making these in low volumes, but Parkwork upgrades are incredibly reasonable. They really are. Um, so check them out. Head over there. Uh, you bang in the code that we put you. I'll put it also in the description, and they'll give you 15% off. They've got the Honeywell, they've got the Wandstows, they've got 
decals if you need them as well for the side. They've also got a very handy uh, decal placement kit, which will clip to your door and you will get perfect decal placement every time. Um, there's loads of stuff on there. They've got the mini PKE meter, which is a gorgeous thing. Um, and they've got stuff for all your models, not just Ecto-1. So they've got things for Rootmaster, they've got things for R2, they've got things for Bismarck. Um, you name it, it's there. So um, check them out, parkworkerhubberage.com. Wonderful things. And 15% off, it's a bargain. Grab yourself one whilst you can. Um, we have got part 33 on the way. Uh, we've been charged for it and it is coming. So it'll probably be here for the end of the month. And we're just building the gurney. Um, which will be going in the back. Now, we don't finish the gurney. We build probably 80% of the gurney, and then there's another part the month after. So that's what's coming next month, or the end of this month. After that, we come back to the car, and we are building the front light bar, and finishing the gurney, and starting the rear light bar. The month after that, so which will probably be May, we do the rear light bar, and we start to build the equipment rack. The month after that, June, um, will be more um equipment rack uh and then july i don't know i don't know what the last two parts are going to be i have absolutely no idea i would imagine the aerial and a dust cover if i had to put money on it um but who knows but we are due to get the crystal case as well which is going to have a lighting kit inside of it so that'll be all part of it we'll be doing all of that uh there are other builds coming up this week we've got r2d2 is due this week as well we've got we received that today so that'll be going on the channel as well um and We've just uploaded Iron Man, uh, <laughs> Iron Man, but go take a look along with all the other ones that we've got. So we've got Rootmaster coming up soon. We had uh, two Titanics last week, um, so you can see five and six of the Titanic. Uh, we you can see four fire, uh, sorry, four five and six of the Disney Dolls House ride the week before. Loads of stuff, including our weekly catch up as well. Thank you for all your support. If you've been enjoying my ramblings. Um, you can subscribe and you can like it. it. It helps the channel massively and your support is very much appreciated. Uh, that's it for me because I am tired because it's gone midnight here now. <laughs> so um, in a world where you could be anything at all, just be nice and I'll see you next time.